Happy Easter from something I've never done before. Usually I'm spending Easter day with family and friends, but today it is the volcano hunt in Tenerife. It's 10.15 in the morning. I thought maybe there'd be two or three bikes already, but it feels like there's about a hundred bikes already. We're, we're off a service station just off the motorway and the amount of stunning Harley Davidsons, awards set up all over by the Land Rover Defender over there, but a gigantic amount of incredible bikes. Really can't believe the quality. So tell you what I'll do. I'll flip the camera around, show you. I'll flip the camera around and show you what's already here at 10.30 on Easter Sunday. Right, so motorway just to my left and petrol station over there. Look at the selection of bikes already. Some stunning Harley Davidsons. People pulling in all the time to the left and I'll just do a back to front. Sorry if I get in your way. All of the Harleys here along the left hand side. Honda there. Intruder. Proper, proper custom style Harley there with a Sportster, Sportster. Oh, just too many to list. Look at this with the massive eight bars. I'll get that. That's the Easy Rider Defender 110 over in the distance there. And of course, Adam, the founder of Easy Rider, he's actually set this whole thing up today. Hey, Hello, how are you doing? Look at that one there as well. Wow. Coming over too. So this is where the awards will be. This is all of Adam and his family here parked up. Jackson. Jackson there, little biker in the making all of the awards here and this is the defender that i actually went out in a couple of weeks ago but this this is it at 10 30. so the plan for the day is everyone's meeting up here and i think at 11 o'clock we all start heading off for a big ride into the mountains after we've ridden into the mountains which i think will be about a two or three hour ride or something like that with all of these bikes we're then going to I think it's a restaurant slash bar. There'll be live music, food, some drinks. So it should be, it should be an incredible all day event. Can't wait for these. There's nothing better than a big group ride out with so many different bikes. And the sports bikes are coming now too. So all of the bikes that are going to be in the competition now are lining up. So we've got the classics and the custom bikes all coming up here. I think I'm judging the classic bikes. And I'm not sure who's judging the customs, but now if you look, it's so busy. Almost the whole car park area here now is completely packed. We've got everyone filling in their forms just behind us next to the Land Rover Defender over there. And we've got, we've got a mix of a huge amount of Harleys. We've got classic Japanese bikes, Ducati. 
super sports Ducatis. This one, this has been getting a lot of attention, people getting photos with it. I've seen we've got some Moto Guzzi's, but a gigantic range of different stuff. So probably in about an hour or two after I've done, or after we've done the ride, I'll have to get my judging hat on. And this one here, this is a classic Kawasaki Z1000 from Sweden that's just come over and I've got my eye on this bike for the classic of the classic of the run. It's a Le Eddie Lawson replica and I've just been chatting to the owner Richard and I really, I really like that. done and I've just popped out from 
just around the back. I've popped out from the bar, restaurant and barbecue area that we've all met in just to get a bit of peace and quiet because it's so loud inside because it, just that three hour ride of snaking up to the top of the volcano and coming back down and seeing ahead of you a convoy of probably a kilometer ahead of you in the distance around another bend in the volcano. Seeing all the bikes just go from left to right around the different bends is it's just an amazing sight. It was proper t-shirt weather even at the top of the volcano and see just in front of the defender there and my triumph in the distance there all of the bikes in the distance there and the other side so i'll flip the camera in a second because i'll do a walk through back of the location which we are at now into the barbecue area and then round to the front because there's a brilliant band playing so i'll show you the whole way through front to back Let's go outside and get it. This is the winning bike from the classic competition. Kawasaki, I think it's 1982. Very special edition. It's come all the way from Sweden and it only arrived on the island about two weeks ago. And every single one of the judges was unanimous in picking this. It is a, a very special bike. There's a chance I may be able to test it. What, what a stunning special machine. 1000 cc kawasaki and i think this special edition i think they only made it for one or two years something like that we were having so much fun i completely forgot to actually end the video it's about 6 30 now and just great music full of brilliant people it's just amazing vibe it's what biking is all about getting out in a big group of people great ride and then chat and talk about bikes and stuff afterwards it was it was incredible and can i tell you a secret monica mm -hmm. God, I, I want a Harley. Okay. It's just something about seeing those Harleys. Just they were leading the way. They were leading the way. Just seeing them, just snake around the the mountain sides. It was it was a fine sight. I I really really do love it. And then to be in that bar at the end, you know, with that music going and all the Harley riders there, mm -hmm. oh, it's a good atmosphere. <laughs> yeah. This was the first ever, I think I said it, first ever volcano hunt mm -hmm. arranged by Adam from Easy Rider Tenerife, who's got the big motorcycle rental company. And he did uh, really uh, an unforgettable job or he created an unforgettable experience. We had so much fun. So if you're ever in Tenerife for Easter, highly, highly recommend it. Monica and I, I'll walk over here, Monica, because we've come for a pizza now. Just to wrap up our Easter Sunday, we're in the touristy heart of Tenerife here. And it feels like there's been an apocalypse. There is almost no one around. In fact, now there are people, but trust me, there's been <laughs> no one at all. It's so quiet. I don't think anything's gonna be open, but we'll try our best to get a pizza. Thank you so much everyone for coming along and we will see you Volcano mm -hmm. Hunt 2023.